I'm going to show you how I pack Nakla. As you know, Nakla is a very dry shisha. Um, this is all I'm using. You can see uh, it's really not much at all. Just a little handful. It's a little sticky, but it's a lot drier than uh, like the Alpha Care or Star Buzz. Um, so this is what I do. Right now I have a mixture between strawberry and banana, both Nakla. It's not the Nakla Miso, it's traditional Nakla, so it is pretty dry. Um, the taste is great, though. I love strawberry. I got some honey. I do just a dab. So just a little squirt of honey, and I really mix that in with the shisha. This is going to make your shisha, one, very sticky but it's going to be a lot more moist than what it would have been. It is messy though, I will tell you that right now. So once you mix that in, just start to break it apart as much as possible. You might think this is a little strange, but if you think about it, most shisha is uh, soaked in honey or glycerin or molasses. I believe Nakla is molasses. Um, I add the honey to make this a little more a little more moist. It prevents it from becoming harsh. It also really smooths out the smoke and it lasts a lot longer. Nakla typically doesn't last as long as Roman or even Starbucks or Alpha Care. But uh, I love Nakla. It's great shisha. They got great taste and you can't beat the price. So I mix it with honey. Just sprinkle this in here. And this is a Egyptian bowl, Egyptian clay bowl. A little technique I'm using is uh, less shisha and less coals, and I'm actually getting a pretty decent smoke. I used to really pack coals with nakla, and I found they burn too quick. So someone told me to use a lot less shisha, save some tobacco and coals in the long run. So there you have it. You can see it's really not much at all. About a quarter of an inch below the rim. I just sprinkle it in. I don't really pack it down or anything. So this is very sticky as you can tell. So this is a uh, nakla strawberry and banana mixed with honey and I'm using probably half of uh, the shisha I normally do. Let me go rinse this off and I will show you how I pack the holes in the aluminum foil and we'll go from there. Alright, I got heavy duty aluminum foil, two layers, shiny side down, you guys all know this now. I just use a safety pin to poke holes in mine. You can use whatever you want. Do one right in the center. You can see, just a simple pattern. A good amount of holes, I guess. Really good airflow. Should be good. Alright, before I add the coals, I will show you my hookah. 
You can see where the water level is. I got quite a bit of room for smoke. I have a couple ice cubes in there. Nothing fancy. This is uh, the bell glass from the Kalima Moon hookahs, which I thank my girlfriend for. This is uh, about 35 inches tall. This is a Kalima Moon double black pearl. You can see the pearls, I know it's dark. It's a double hose and large windshield. I have them standing up rather than lying down. I think it's really good for heat management. It doesn't burn the shisha. 